back at it. Are you in day here? Another review. This is from NECA. The Hero of, Hero of the Storms line. This is Nova. So, uh, it's a pretty cool figure to me. I was really excited to get this one. Um, for me, until they make, uh, somebody makes actually one, this is going to be my, I'm going to use her as Samus, uh, in her, I can't remember the name of the suit, but the, uh, you guys would know what suit I'm talking about, but, um, this will be my, this is the makeshift Samus, uh, until we get a, somebody actually makes a official one, but, I think this is a pretty, well worth a uh, figure to find out or seek out and get and you know it's DECA so you're not gonna go wrong with the how it sculpted and whatnot. And look at that this is insane <laughs> Even the hair is, uh, I just really like this hair. How they, this is. So, and go over articulations. Some, uh, a little bit, a little one problem with it, but we'll. One is with the, the accessory she comes with. Uh, this gun. It's I left it in there, but I'll check it out when I do the uh, articulation. But because it's kind of hard to get in, once you get it in there, like she's holding it for him, but it's kind of a it's kind of difficult getting in there. Cause uh, <clears throat> see that peg right there, and let's see if they can show that in her hand. Got to get it in that hole, and it's kind of difficult getting in in there. But once you get in in there, she holds it fine. So. And she comes, oh, uh, that's not the hand she comes with, but she comes with this hand on. On her, and this is the hand, other is the uh, other hand she comes with, so. And this piece, you can, I guess you can count it as an accessory, but you, because you have to plug it in. And. It is a little difficult also to get plugged in, but so I guess I'll start with the artistic because it does swivel so you can use it in have it go in different ways, which is a nice touch, you know. Like I like I said before, that's what most uh import figures do. They act articulate their hair. And it's nice to see that in an American company they actually Finally, for once, actually done that. Thought about, thought about that. So, so I think NECA, they just uh, try to. I'm trying to support them a little bit more because they need some more. They need it, and because they do really well figures. Uh, I just gotta stop rambling. Uh, go over articulation. His head is on a ball joint. This is this crazy range of motion out from this uh -oh. this ball joint just crazy you see that's still with my low budget tripod excuse me I can show the articulation a little better sorry the range of motion is insane looks down very well even up the hair, it's not hindered by the hair at all. You do have to a little bit force it a little bit, but it looks up not that much. It's bright. It's uh, like I said, that this ridiculous range of motion on that. 
uh, well, hand, I mean, arms go up. This is, it's part of the, as you can see, it's part of the arm. So it goes up about that much. It's no bicep swivel, but you got a single bend at the elbow. Don't get, it doesn't give you 90 degrees uh, in a swivel at the elbow. So that's why I said uh, part of the articulation is you can't really hold the gun like how you want her to, like uh, like holding it like that or getting her to aim it. So that is limiting with the articulation, but uh, that is a little bit disappointing because this gun is actually, I forgot to show it, I'll show it off here. <laughs> in a minute, but yeah, that gun's pretty sweet. Uh, she has a diaphragm joint, so it's like a Marvel Legends uh, female figure, so you get all the range of motion. I, I like, actually like the diaphragm joints on figures. Uh, I know most people don't, but I do. But you know, I like that. Uh, she can, <laughs> the joints in here. She can do ridiculous splits, uh, but so there is some gapping issues with that, so you can see the joint right there. Uh, you also get the upper thigh swivel with that, and it goes forward about that much. Uh, back about that much. Double jointed knee, which is pretty cool. And there's ankle. It's also on a. Oh, I forgot this hands. I'm sorry. Because I'll just show the joint. Since you, be careful taking this hand off because it does feel like that could break off easy. This just, just be careful. <clears throat> but there's the joint. There's the ball joint in there, which gives you like ridiculous SH figure arts kind of motion. In that wrist, so, and I just forgot to mention it because the feet is kind of on the same thing. So you get you're up, not back about that much, and not that much. It, you get the ankle rocker there, but you, it's this ridiculous motion in there. But it's kind of due to the scope, you don't really get that much out of it, but it's there. So. All in all, this is a, like I said, she's going to be a makeshift Samus for me. But if you do see her, I, I recommend picking her up. It's pretty cool. Sculpted and well, this is pretty cool for her. I forgot to show her face off, too. <laughs> I'm just messing up here. So, like, eyes do look a little bit like she's looking a little bit off. But it's really well done. You see that? Like I said, I forgot to show the gun up close because this is pretty well. The other side of it. You know. Except with those issues, like, oh, I think she's pretty cool. I think it's worth getting. So if you see her, yeah, I would definitely pick her up. So. Hope you liked the review. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, hit the like and subscribe button. Uh, until next time, Ayende has spoken. Peace.